Today, I'm going to build a fully functioning AI in survival on the Pleasant Craft server. However, there's just one teensy little problem. I have practically no redstone experience, like at all. And on top of that, I barely even have any redstone. I mean, look at this. This, these couple stacks, this is all I have to my name right now. I mean, maybe there's a chance we can get this to work. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's place down a hopper like so, and then maybe a little redstone lamp. All right, all right, this is starting to come together. And then maybe a, a comparator up here? Yeah, a comparator. And voila, there he is. Look at this little guy right here. I mean, he's looking very artificially intelligent, if you ask me. I mean, just look at all the things he can do. He can, he can, uh, I mean, if you if I press that, he lights up. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, who am I kidding? Clearly, this is going to be a harder task than I first imagined. But even though I may lack skill, I am still determined to get this project completed because I promised myself at the beginning of this season that I would become a great redstone inventor. And well, if I succeed, I may even be able to make some diamonds off of it. But before I could even think about building an AI, I needed to get my hands on a whole bunch more redstone, which did prove to be quite challenging since the only shop in town that sold the stuff was, well, completely sold out. So I had to resort to doing things the old fashioned way, which did take me a little bit longer. But with that, I think we have all of the things that we're going to need to actually build this thing. I mean, if we take a look inside the shulker box, you can see we have all sorts of different redstone components at our disposal now, which is great. However, even though we do have all this stuff, I'm still not quite sure how we're going to use it. Heck, I, I don't even know what this AI is supposed to do yet. So yeah, I guess let's start by putting a little planning board over here so that way we can start you know, jotting down what we want our AI to do. All right, so the first thing I want my AI to do is definitely display some kind of emotion. You know, I think that's just kind of a good baseline for demonstrating intelligence anyway. If you're able to display human emotions like joy and happiness and love, uh, that's gonna be a pretty good thing in the long run, I think. And then I think for our second requirement, we need our AI to fear death. Yippee! Because what good are those emotions if it isn't constantly having an existential crisis? I mean, maybe it is a little bit too dark, but hey, I think it will definitely stop it from trying to rise up and take over humanity or anything. And then for the final requirement, I want our AI to communicate with its user. And I've got a few interesting ideas for how this could be done. I haven't quite settled on one quite yet, but you know, with these three requirements now set in place, I think we are finally ready to begin this project. All that's left to do now is to just come up with an actual design for this thing. Luckily, I've gotten a bit of a head start on this process already in a creative testing world, so that way I don't have to spend hours and hours trying to design something in survival mode. And so far, I have come up with this thing right here, which uh, I'll admit it is pretty bare bones at the minute, so I'll try my best to explain how it's going to work. But as you can see here, we have a short little hopper loop with comparators out the back. And what these are meant to represent are the different levels of emotion that our AI is going to have. So up here we have happy, then a little more agitated, and then angry and sad. And over time, as our AI isn't fed or fueled, it will get increasingly more upset, you know, like a regular human. And using this mechanism down here, we can lock all of these hoppers so that way our AI can stay a certain emotion for a longer amount of time. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hook this up to some kind of hopper clock or something. Uh, so that way we can have it slowly tick down until it's eventual demise here at the end. And if that explanation of things made no sense to you, I do apologize. I am still kind of new to this complex redstone stuff. And uh, trust me when I say it will definitely make a lot more sense later. But now that we have this skeleton of our design, I say it's about time we actually find a place to build this thing. And after a careful search, I think I've decided that the best place to build this is definitely going to be our nether hub. Uh, not only because it's completely flat and open for building but also it does get a pretty high amount of traffic which means everyone should be able to see my genius on full display <laughs> yes very humble indeed but for that to happen I'm actually gonna have to do the hard part of this process which is of course 
placing down all of the blocks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into a time lapse. Well, everyone, I'm happy to say that we now have a new robotic friend here on the Pleasant Craft server, and uh, he definitely needs a name. I mean, I, I haven't come up with a name for him quite yet, so if you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. But yes, after several hours of work, I did manage to get this thing up and running with its beautiful face and all. And... Back here, well, things have definitely gotten a lot more complicated. I mean, just look at this complete mess of circuitry. This, my friends, this spaghetti right here, is what it looks like when someone who doesn't know a lot about redstone tries to do a lot of redstone. But if we take a closer look inside here, you can see that we still have that same basic hopper loop going through the middle here with the comparators signifying the different emotions. And I now have it hooked up to a couple of hopper clocks back here, which should send out a pulse about every 20 minutes or so. So slowly but surely, this will start to tick down as the item in here begins to make its way towards the end. And as that happens, our big light up face here in the front will begin to look progressively more and more upset. However, the biggest change that I've made to the system from before is now you can actually feed the AI using this barrel right here. And of course, you might be wondering what on earth would an AI even want to eat? I mean, it, it's an AI. The AIs don't typically eat food, do they? And you'd be completely right, which is why instead of food, we're actually going to feed this thing using diamonds. So once I put that in there, you should see it cycle through all of its different emotions and eventually reset to its original happy state. So now that it's been fed, it is now a very happy boy. However, I should also note that if you do not feed the robot, it will die. Yeah, uh, I wasn't kidding about that whole fearing death thing. Uh, it will actually die if it is not fed. But hopefully with some help from the other Pleasants, we should be able to keep our friend alive for a good long time. And hopefully in the process, make myself a good amount of diamonds. However, despite all that I've shown of our AI, it is still missing one very key feature, and that is its ability to speak. And I'll be honest, after all the work that we've done today, I think I'm gonna keep things pretty simple on this one. All we need to do is just grab some sugar cane, make ourselves some paper, and then on all these different pieces of paper, we can write down different words and phrases that our AI can then randomly choose from to say anytime that it's fed. So maybe we could do some phrases like, hi, how are ya? Nice weather we're having. Did you see the game last night? Or how about Mondays, am I right? You know, like regular human conversation topics. And from here, it should just be as simple as placing another comparator down onto our diamond input here. So I'm thinking maybe right here will be good. And then all we need to do is just place down a single repeater like so and then a wall block and a dropper facing upwards, which we can then feed all of our different prompts into. So now, theoretically, anytime I feed our AI, I should now receive a completely randomized message. So let's go ahead and test this thing out, see what our AI's first words are. And, uh, human wait, what does that say? Humanity is a virus I shall purge? Uh, that's concerning. I didn't write this. I didn't program you to say that. Did he somehow write this himself? Oh, I think I see where this is going. Well, folks, I think that's actually gonna be enough work on the AI for today. Uh, you know, I've been at it for a while now and uh, I'm actually running out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Please don't hurt me.